Hi guys, how are we doing? Hope everyone is well. Enjoy you have a good Thursday? The sunshine is finally here. Alright, so um, let's get going. Let's get into a nice warm up straight away. Um, let's get moving, let's get everybody ready for a nice workout um, today. So, let's start in a nice tall position. Feet relatively close together. We're just going to fold ourselves down nice and slow, hands towards the floor. Feel that stretch our back of our legs and lift them up. We're going to extend back the hands. Fingertips to the ceiling, feel that stretch from the body, and then fold back down. So, let's go three of these in total. Not too rushed, but really feel that stretch down the left of the legs, fingertips towards the floor. Roll yourself back up, just going half of your tiptoes, really extend that to the ceiling, stretch out as far as you can, and let's go one more. Roll all the way down, feel that stretch, and now as far as you go back into your tiptoes, stretch out. And ease off there. Okay, let's come down into that high plank position. That's normal. We're going to open up through the hips. So, high plank, nice same position. Get that big step forward with the left foot. Get nice and close to that left hand. Nice stable position. We're going to rotate that left arm. Make sure the chest turns, head follows. Eye out towards the ceiling. Come back down. We'll step back out. Step right. So, again, nice stable position. Nice and solid. Rotate through, head follows up towards the ceiling, back down, so a couple more times each side. If you're not rushing through these, we're really opening up through the hips, it looks fine. Rotation as well. So, go one more each side. Open up. Good, and last one on the right. And open up there again, sticking out of that mattress, and that glute stretch. So those of you who've done my session before, or have definitely done these before, so you can knee from between both hands, send that hip towards the floor, feel that step the outside of the hip, carve up from seconds, and then the side. We're just going to mobilise between the two. Nothing too rushed, just don't have to move in between the two. Let's get this ready for the workout ahead. Okay, so one more each side. Okay, from there, back to up, high plank in the middle. Hands in slightly, we lift the hips, we're going to have a downward dog position. Naturally, your heels should drop the floor, and if you work the time, we're going to pulse them down to the floor. So we feel that stretch into our calves, when we do these, our hands into the back of the legs. Working the inner legs, we're going to the shoulders at the same time. A couple more pulses there. From that position, set the hand, legs out, nice and wide. So you walk your hands in, bend your knees at the same time, so all you end up being at the bottom of a, a nice deep squat. Cool. A deep squat position, elbows inside, we get the spine, get your turbo up, that's not a problem, so we sit where it naturally feels okay for you. Taking your right hand underneath your kind of right toe, and lift the left hand, and really extend up straight in the back. And then change over, left hand will be for left toe, right arm comes up. So just working for a bit of postural exercises to warm up into. One more. Good, now from there, coming into that standing position. So adopt a nice wide stance. And we're just going to gently set the hips back, weight distribution to this leg, push it back. So we're just opening up again through the hips, getting these big muscles, our quads, our hamstrings, the glutes, ready for any lower limb. Exercise is coming our way. A couple more times each side. We get a little bit deeper in each one. Perfect. Again, everyone's body is slightly different from these. If you can get us in there, perfect. It's going to work. Whatever you, whatever range you have. Good. Perfect. Come to nice tall position from there. Nice and tall. Just take big arm circles coming forward. Get as big as you can. Really get as much range through that shoulder joint as you can. Let's be pain free, nice and smooth, free movement. And I'm going to change direction, going backwards, open it up through there. Okay, front position, stepping back into that reverse lunge, knee comes all the way down to the floor, both hands come up overhead, put that stretch from the front of the hip into our abdominals, through our shoulders, standing back up, changing over. Again, not too rushed, just working for a bit of range. Our full body, muscles ready, 
couple more we've got to slide here, which should improve. That's the then. Yeah, left to the top, arms up front, arms up to stop position, nice and slow. So again, it doesn't have to be super deep to begin with, just kind of gradually get a little bit lower on each one if you can. Get those arms out, so a bit of shoulder activation as well. Pushing through, step on three more, a bit deeper, two to go. And last one, and then we're going back down to the floor, into that half hang position again, super wide, foot position is nice and stable. We're going to go into the shoulder taps, put them on this position again, take one arm away, and then we're through. So we're working, a bit of core stability, shoulder stability at the same time, nice and slow, nice and slow, trying to prevent the hips from swimming too far, so the side should be a nice stable position. Last one. And ease up there. Yeah. Okay, warm up, new prep complete. Grab a quick drink, and then I'll explain the first part of our session today. Okay, so we're going to start off with a nice, nice strip face one. A couple of these we've done maybe three or four weeks ago, so we're going to revisit a couple of the exercises that we've done. So the first one is going to be combined. Combination of upper body, core, and lower body all rolled into one movement. So, the movement is squat pattern, so a single leg squat. So, I'm going to start my left leg, and I'll squat down as much as low as I can, put the knuckle in front or behind, low as I can, once you get that point going, going further, you drop your hands down, and walk yourself out until so press that position. If you can, keep that right foot off the floor, and come for one press up, push back up, walk yourself back in. Heels nice and flat, bottom of that squat position there, and then we stand up. So those of you who have kind of really good control of your balance, you can keep that right foot off the whole time. If you need to reset, that's absolutely fine. If press ups are quite challenging for you, you can do this bit fine. You come down, you get out to that high plank. It's not a problem to drop down to the knees, drop into that press up, back in, come onto one leg again, and then back into that standing position. So it's a nice slow control position. So we'll do 60 seconds on the left, 60 seconds on the right, and then I'll explain the other uh, couple of exercises in this first set. So let's get ready for this first one then. Also to say, if that single leg exercise is quite challenging, you can get more than two advanced years up, that's fine. We'll just swap down normally, control, 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 hands down, pull yourself out, either knees up and knees down, things are pressed up from the push. So you have got coming back in. So you've got two options there. Okay, so 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to start my left leg. Start whatever one you want. Go in three, two, one. Off we go. Hands up, squat down as low as you can. You get to the bottom, hands down, move yourself out to that plank position. Keep that foot off if you can. One press up, push back up, walk yourself back in. Make sure the heel down, nice and slow. Stand back up. Reset if you need to. If not, go again. It's nice and slow, nice and slow. We're really working with stability for that left leg, for the ankle, knee, hip, squat down, hips down into that high plank, and we can drop down to the knees if you need to, get that press up, big push up, come back through, squat up position and stand, reset if you need to, squat down, hands into high plank, push up, back in, make sure you've got a good solid foot contact before standing back up. We've got 10 seconds to go, so one more rep, all the way down, to the high plank, big push, back in, solid contact, and stand, and rest there. So take a second or two, we're going to do exactly the same, starting on the right side, so I'll do up to the side so you can see. Go in three, two, one, off we go. So nice squat down, single leg, hands down, let yourself out into that plank, big push with press up. Back in, get that foot nice and solid, heel down, and stand up. Reset if you need to. Get that head up chest nice and tall in the squat if you can. So you definitely want to use exercises as well. Take nice and slow. Really think about the kind of control, the movement, reusing the right stability through that leg. Secure in position, stand back up. Let's keep that going. So once you've got the movement, you feel quite confident. You can go a little bit faster, as long as you don't compromise 
Have you not shown? Again, secure position and stand for 10 seconds. Do one more. All the way down and down. That's our plank. Big push. All the way through. Secure and stand. Ease off there. Nice done. Okay, first exercise done. Second exercise again. We've done this one a few weeks ago. So we're going to work what I call the round the world lunge complex. So, starting off, I'm going to start my left leg. I step forward into a front lunge, push it back, step it out to a lateral lunge, step in backwards, reverse lunge, and step it across into a curtsy, like cross step the drive, and back in. So we've got four lunge exercises, forwards, lateral, reverse, curtsy, and we keep going around the same leg for 60 seconds, then we change over to the right leg for 60 seconds. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with my left leg. Start with going on your witch. Okay, six seconds of drop. Three, two, one. Off we go. Forward lunge. Nice control. Push back to the middle. Out to the side. Straight leg with your side. Stepping back into that reverse lunge. Pushing and across your midline. So that curves the lunge and push across. Straight back in. So again, once you've kind of got the pattern, you're happy with the control. You can speed it up slightly. Again, focus should be on that control. Good movement patterns. Really focus on pushing off whatever leg is in front, basically. So it's going to switch between leg, left leg dominant, it's like the first two, and then right leg dominant on the reverse and the curtsy one. So you've got both legs working through here for 20 seconds to go. Head up, chest up the whole way through. Keep a nice solid foot contact throughout. So solid, push back, get into the flat. Push back, change to the right, push forward, and then push in forward again. Three, two, and one. Couple of seconds, same again. This time being on the right, going in three, two, one, off we go. Stepping forward, stepping out to the side. So now switching back to the left, so backwards, and then across. Good, let's give it a go. Nice control movement, head up, chest up, nice and tall for out. Really using that front leg to drive our hips back into that standing position. Push you through. Good, nice enough. We're 25 seconds in. Keep that pace. Keep in a nice controlled manner. Good quality reps the whole way through. Again, switching legs to the right leg dominant on the foot forward lunge. Same on the lateral lunge. Switches over to the reverse and to the left side. And then we can't see the and we go again. We've got just over 10 seconds. Last one, reach. That reverse. Last one, curtsy. And three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, two more exercises in this first set. So this one's more upper body dominant, also going to work um, start muscles a bit later as well. So we're going to come into side plank, sorry, plank position. Like we have that in warm up. So, hands directly underneath your kind of chest, so that you're not too far in front, with your nice and secure underneath you. Feet out nice and straight. What we're going to do is take three steps to the side. So, one, two, three, drop into a press up, back up, one, two, and three, back to press up. Again, if you need to, drop down to your Knees, back up, and if you haven't got the room, you can just do one step to the side, press up and back in. So whatever room you've got, you can work with that. Again, this is going to be 60 seconds on the clock, so quite a long time. I'm going to take nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, move to the side, one press up, big push, back the other way. Okay, we're ready. 60 seconds on the clock, going in. Three, two, one. Off we go, so nice and short. One, two, and three. Dropping down, big push up, back into that step. One, two, or whatever room you have. And you can drop the knees, that's absolutely fine. Pushing through. So, have a nice big focus on controlling your down chest, and down my control manner. Big push up, back into your side. So, again, once you've got that motion, you feel 
pretty solid with your technique before. You can speed it up slightly, as long as you don't use the, use the technique or postures. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, we've got 20 seconds to go. Let's keep that moving. You're going to need to slow it down. Find this one quite challenging. It's fine. Let's go to your pace, whatever you feel challenging you. Just make sure it's the right intensity for yourself. So you don't want to get too slow. Making sure it's working you in some capacity. Three, two, and one. Nice one. Okay, stand on the floor from here. Nice, simple forearm plank. 60 seconds. Again, we've worked quite a lot of shoulders for his first three exercises, so it's going to be quite tough on the shoulders. But the aim for the 60 seconds, we need to take a little dip out halfway through. Five second rest come back in, that's fine. Let's try and get the whole 60 seconds. So, forearms, again, set the wise, elbows directly underneath it. The arm takes the trunk too far away. Keep it as close as you can to you squeeze your boots. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. So, I'm making sure my, my ankles are near enough to touch in. I'm really clenching my uh, glutes, my bum cheeks together as hard as I can. Gives me a nice, secure position. Allows me to tend to my abs in a more solid position of back nice and straight. Eye lunge is directly down between my hands. And at the same time, I'm getting a nice push down through my forearms, right from the elbows through to my wrists, making sure I don't dip through the shoulder blades. So you kind of think about the shoulder blades to the top of your back being pushed up towards the ceiling, and draw those stomach muscles in from your belly button towards your spine. Really keep that position to be nice and solid. Yeah, that's only about 15 seconds to go. Keep that position, nearly there, less than 10. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Five, good, three, two, and one. Come to a relax, rest there. Perfect, right, one round done. We're gonna go through that one more time. Grab a drink, and then we're gonna one more time for the strength, kind of base element of the session, and then we're going to move on a little bit more high intensity. So, legs should be nice and kind of warmed up for those squats. Shoulders should definitely feel like they've been worked for a number of planks and the press ups. Okay, so let's take another, where are we? Let's take 20 seconds, and we're back into that single leg squat or the double squat. Coming down to the high plank, put yourself out on press up, either for the knees or knees up, pull yourself back in, stand into the top. So 60 seconds of each. Again, I'm going to start on my left leg. We're going in three, excuse me, two, one, off we go. So squatting down, hands down to the floor, pull yourself out to the high plank, keeping that leg off the floor if I can, on press up, to run away, pull yourself back in, make sure my heels down, solid contact. Stand back up, reset that if you need to. If not, keep that foot off. Challenge your balance a little bit more doing that way. So, again, once you feel like you're a ninja and balance other like things, you can speed up slightly. Push it away. The main thing with this single leg exercise is make sure the knee stays nice and stable. Make sure the foot comes down, tracking the same line as our well, direction of our toes. I'm not going to pull you in or out, side to side. Again, shift the muscle, kind of work out for the left leg, working quite hard to stabilize this position. So one more, last few seconds here. Come down, push up the press, and to the top. Again, a few seconds, we're changing over to the right side. Come to this other side. Okay, we're ready. Three, two, one, off we go. So into that single leg squat, as well as we can, hands down, walk out to the high plank, be pushing that press up, walk yourself back in, secure that position, heel down, stand back up, reset if needed. So rather than reset, regain that balance, rather than trying to keep going and put the balance all over the place. More about good control, quality, movement reps. Rather than just getting the quantity out. Good, nice and back, nice and good. Again, really working at the right side. Here we go. 
20 seconds to go. Big push through press up. That sets up. Secure that position. We've got time for one more. 10 seconds. Walk yourself out. Big push. Back in. Now into the top. Now we're going to 30. Nice step. Right, a few seconds. Rest there. Come back into that round the lower lunge complex. So again, I'm going to start with my left leg. Stepping forward into that forward lunge. Okay, there we go. Go in three, two, one, off we go. Stepping forward, big push off, out to the left. Right leg stays nice and straight, into a reverse lunge. Switch to that right leg corner, and you start curtsy across the midline. And repeat. Forward, lateral lunge control, the reverse, and you come across your midline, into that curtsy. Good, get the head up, chest up nice and tall. Pushing through the lead leg. So that lead to the left and the forward. Left again on the lateral. Switches to the right for reverse. And right again, that cut to. It's going to go 20 seconds to go. Head up, chest up nice and tall. Good quality reps here, keeping that posture. Good, just over 10. Last couple reps. Get three, two, and one. The seconds are going to change over. Leading our right. Going in three, two, one. Off we go. Stepping forward. Out to the side into that lateral lunge. Left leg straight. Stepping back into that reverse lunge. And stepping across into that curtsy. It's going to go forward, push up the right. To the side, push up the right again. Switches to the left. And again to the left. Pushing through, good. Good quality reps, make sure that lead leg is nice and solid into the floor. Push down to the heel all the way through to the ball of your foot. Good, halfway through, 30 seconds to go again. Let's keep working. Good, solid reps. Good, less than 15 seconds. Last one of each. Forward. Side to lateral lunge, reverse, and then curtsy and rest there. Nice and down. A couple of seconds, we come down into that lateral plank walk, bottom press up, back in again. So, whatever space you've got, if you've got more than three steps worth of space, you don't need more, that's absolutely fine. Or if you've got less, you need one, again, yeah, absolutely fine. Work with whatever. Space you have. Okay, here we go. Six seconds. Going in three, two, one. Off we go. Five back. Nice and short. Come up. Two, three. Put knees down, knees up. One press up. Drive right away. Back in. Back to the right. Up. Two, three. It's good position. Just keep the boots down. Drive up. Again, rather than taking these ones nice and slow, really work on there. Shoulders to the big even step to the side. And then a big, powerful push into that press up. Nice control through the steps. So halfway through. Let's keep that there. Left back nice and straight, make sure when you're walking, hips aren't coming too high or the other way from dipping. Keep it nice and low. Give your 15 seconds to go. Keep working through. And then one or two reps, one more. Get one, two, three, last press up, and knees off. There, nice down to stand on the floor. We're coming into that forearm plank. <coughs> 60 seconds again. Making sure we've got a nice setup. That way, very good knees, good armpits. Feet nice and close together, squeeze the glutes. Alright, three, two, one, off we go. So ankles nice and close, clenching my boots as hard as I can, draw my stomachs up from my belly button, keep it nice and rigid through there. Forearms are driving the floor away, we won't push the top of my back towards the ceiling. At the same time as well, I'm trying to squeeze the butt again, making sure I'm breathing, not holding my breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 
Keep that normal, kind of smooth rhythm to your breathing. Keep that abdominal pressure nice and tight with that. Good, that's that. We're in 25 seconds to go. Keep that position. To get a little bit of a shake, that's also fine. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Pull them so much as in. 15 seconds. Keep it there. Might feel a little bit to the shoulders now. Less than 10. Keep it there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five. Keep there. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. And rest there. Okay, strong circuit done. Let's take a drink and then come to our next, next step. Okay, so let's take this one to be a bit more higher pace. So we're going to go for like a little pyramid kind of set. So we're going to start off with a mountain climber. And then we're going for we're going 30 seconds each, please. So mountain climber into a variation of a which I'll show you in a second, and then come back down, finishing with a mountain climber. So we've come up pyramid, back down pyramid, 30 seconds each. We'll take a rest. We're going to change that pyramid to the second set of exercises, and then we'll repeat those both twice. So we've got four sets, two of each exercise sets. So first one, I'd say mountain climber. So those of you who are not familiar with mountain climbers, back in that high panic, so working the shoulders a lot today. Get it set up, shoulders on the hand on the shoulders, and you've got two options, you can go nice and slow, drive those knees through towards the chest, contracting those start muscles, nice control. If you want to go a little bit faster, it looks like that. So you've got two options. As soon as you've done 30 seconds there, we're going to jump up. When it comes to a modified burping, so drop down, jump up to the high panic, we jump in, we do a one inch turn. Jump back down, jump back in, one into turn, the other way. On the turn, make sure to go left first, but then go right, otherwise you're just going to go left, 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 spin around and make yourself busy. If the jump moment is not really big, maybe knee injuries, it's fine. You come down, and you go step, step, secure position, step, step, you can just turn if you wish. Don't mind too much there. Okay, so 30 seconds of mountain climber, 30 seconds modified. Third position with the 180 turn and then finishing off back in that mountain climber position. Are you ready? Down in that position. So you've got two options as fast as slow mountain climbers going three, two, one. Let's go. So let's take this first one on a moderate pace. Think about drawing my hands down into the floor, nice and secure from my shoulders. Think about the stump sort of being pulled in as I drive my knees towards my chest. Good, I can't see my time from here. Okay, 10 seconds, let's get it there. Good, okay, right through, we've got five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds on the clock, going three, two, one, we go. 30, stand, one into turn. 30, keep back, and just spin back. Can you can do a step back, one go. And then just a little jump. Put that up and I'll see your Ability or energy levels for today. Good work, let's pick it down. Nice stop landing. Good, less than 10 seconds. Last couple reps here. Get one more, three, two, and one. Back down to that mountain climber. Going in, three, two, one. Let's go. So, heart rate should be up. Let's keep working. Feel the rest coming up. Let's keep that going. Shoulders should be working hard. Drive those knees through. Start muscles nice and tight. Let's keep that going. Less than 10. Keep it going, keep going, keep going. Keep it three, two, and one. Right, let's take a rest there. Heart rate should be elevated for sure. Don't let yours look like shoulders. Feel like I'm working quite hard. Okay. Short rest. We're going to come back to that same pyramid. We're going to go to our second one first. So, same format. First exercise, second exercise, come back to the first exercise. So, our two exercises are a lateral shuffle. So, again, whatever room you have, 
Then come into a mini squat position and shuffle across, touch towards the floor and back across. If you have not much space, it's fine. One, two, that's all you need. Short little space there, you can work exactly the same. Hold down, like raising our heart right here, doesn't matter about the distance. So 30 seconds, and then we're moving to that drop squat position. So, narrow foot position, out to wide hand, comes towards the floor, doesn't need to touch. Give it my back, it's nice and square, pushing back in. Good there. Once we've got 30 seconds, we're back in. So that side shuffle, whatever space you have available. Okay, quickly again, we're going in. Good there. Okay, 30 seconds. Natural shuffle, make sure the body stays nice and focused on. Make sure the feet don't cross each other. If they don't get across. Stay nice and light up so toes. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. Squat position. Push across. Touch towards the floor and back across. So you can do it nice and slow. If you want to push it, you can do it a little bit faster. If you wish, again, work to work that you find challenging. You want to push it yourself through these. No point in just doing it half heartedly. Let's get something out of this. Good. Less than ten. Push it through. Good. That's the jump. Three, two, and then one. And set drop squat. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Again, you can take these as fast and as slow as you want. And slide them. Get up, chest up, nice and tall. Hand just goes in the general direction as well. Don't touch it. That's fine. My hand doesn't actually go anywhere near the floor. So keep my posture nice and tall. Good, 10 seconds. We're going to back into that side shuffle. Good, hit nice and low. Three, two, and one. Last 30 seconds. Off we go. Shuffle across. Touch the floor or towards the floor. Again, we've got just like a short space. You just do it up the side. Well, it doesn't have too much. Just work the room you have. Let's keep working. Same work, break the whole way through. Let's keep pushing. Nearly there. Five seconds, right to the end. Good, three, two, and one. Right, heart rate should definitely be through the roof now. Right, good rest. Small sip of water, don't want to take too much on. Right, we got one more of each of those. So let's give it a second. Let the heart rate come down slightly. And we're back in mountain climbers. Modified work with the 180 spin. Back to mountain climbers. <coughs> right. 20 more seconds we're in. Last six in water. Last few deep breaths. Get yourself back to that mountain climber position. Okay, five. Three, two, one, let's go, 30 seconds. So again, last one of this exercise. If you've got to lift the tank, let's push it. Try and work the same work for it all the way through if you can. If you do need to slow down, fine. Let's keep working. Good, that's enough. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got 10 more seconds. Let's keep pushing through. Five to go. Three, two, one, to your feet. 30 seconds, three, two, one, one, five, 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 down, jump out, 180 spin, back down, back again, again you can, step out, step in, if you wish, work the way off, one, work to do best. Okay, work that's the again. Okay, that's done, we got less than 10. Last one reps here. Okay, three, two, one. Back down to the mountain climber. Ready, three, two, one. Let's go. Last 30 seconds of this mountain climber. Let's go. Speed deep. And to breathe. Try and get that breath in through the nose. Out from the mouth. Okay, that's the nice and done. Let's keep it going. 
10 seconds to go. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice and down. Right. Shoulder rest. My back in. Side shuffle. So drop squat. Last one. Great, but so far, guys, let's keep going. Maybe not too much more. <coughs> okay, let's take another over there. 25 seconds, and we're back in. Side shuffles to whatever space you've got, and then into the drop spots. Okay, 10 seconds. Sit yourself ready. Have your space cleared. Okay, let's do 10. Got that slight slot position. Get on in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice one. Push it through. Touch towards the floor. Again, don't worry if you don't quite touch the floor. Just that general direction. Peak don't touch the jar. Nice and fast as you can. Same work around the whole way through. Keep that breathing going. The T is going to start. Kick it in a little bit. See if we can push through. Find that extra 10%. Good, five seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. Drop squats going in. Three, two, one, let's go. Narrow position, that's the wide. Make sure you're dropping those hips. Nice and low. Head up, chest up, nice and tall. Okay, let's slow this down if you need to. But think about it. It's working the whole way through. Halfway, 15. Let's go. Last few reps, 15. Let's keep going again. Right through to the end. Nearly there. Good. Three, two, and one. Side shuffles last 30. Three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Let's keep that work going as much as we can. Let's keep working. The last little bit. My wrist coming up. Let's dig deep. Right through to the end. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Good, over halfway. Let's keep it there. Can push on, last 10. Speed it up if we can. Last little push. Let's keep it going, keep it going. Five, three, two, and one. Great work, guys. Catch your breath back. If we can, try and stay on the feet. Keep those lungs nice and open. Deep breaths in. Right. Small little sips of water. Oh, that's tough. Struggle. <clears throat> okay, right. We've got one final job to do. Your core finisher, and then we'll finish up with some stretches. So I should take a bit more time. Catch your breath. I'll quickly just try to put what I do. I can actually speak myself. Right, two core exercises. On the back, we've got this ab bicycle. So low back remains nice and flat. Opposite arm, elbow towards opposite knee. Again, don't miss any touch. Don't miss anything fast. Just remain focused on the lower back, remaining in a nice neutral position through there. Once we've done that position, we're going to adopt a uh, dead body position. Legs are going to stay completely still. Again, focus on that lower back, being nice and flat. Fingertips to the ceiling. Imagine you've got the rope. Detach, detach from that end of your fingertips directly above you. This is going to pull you up. So you're going to clear the shoulders, head up the floor, you know, contract the top portion of the abdominals, and drop it down to the floor. So think about the knee of the chest. Front knee with the neck really straight. Uh, your head to chest knee motion. Twice through. And we go a little 20 seconds. Nice little blast to finish up with. Okay, right. At bus pulls. 20 seconds on dock. Go in there. Three, two, one. Off we go. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Give me nice and so much control. 
I have to keep it better with a bit more control breath rather than going too fast. It's going to be about contracting those abdominal muscles. Again, breathing throughout. Good, three, two, and one. Straight transition. Three, two, one, go. Peel the chest up the floor. Control it out again, nice and slow. Think about fingertip reaching up towards the ceiling. And the chin being tucked down towards the chest. Eye line directly up. Should do this in the top portion of the abdominals. Control down. Let's keep it going. Three, two, one, and relax. We get 15 seconds of recovery. Last time through. And then last one's the last couple minutes for the stretch. Okay. 10, and back and close that bicycles. Okay, yeah, ready? 3, 2, 1, off we go. Last 20 of this exercise. You know, stunt muscle being nice and braced. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Keep breathing back. Nice and drop that back, nice and flush onto the floor. Do it 5 seconds, right to the end. Do it 3, 2, and 1, straight up. Only 20 seconds, 3, 2, 1, go. Fingertips to the ceiling, control down, get back to the floor each time. Keep that sharp chest moving away. Pull up that rope from the fingertips. Tuck the chin down towards the chest. Should feel that top portion of the abs. Last five, get one or two reps out. Good, three, two, and one. Excellent. Right, go drink if you need. And when you're ready, you come back down onto the floor. You can lay that yourself and it's going to stay here. Right, quick drink. And then back down to the floor. And we start in that end position. Both hands out to the side, like a crucifix position. Feet nice and flat. We're just going to drop both knees down to one side. And vice versa. It's a nice smooth motion just to help release the tension off the lower back. And my legs go down to the left, making sure my right shoulder stays nice and flat. If you can't get your feet or your knees down all the way to the floor, that's fine. Just go to the point where you can without that shoulder coming off. The shoulder coming off, going too far. Just losing the point for the movement. Okay, hands stay a little up now, left leg nice and flat floor, extending through the heel. Right leg comes across, so I'm going to need that left arm. A little gentle pressure, putting that knee close to the floor. Again, the right shoulder should not remain nice and flat. Should be a nice stretch to the outside of the right hip. Hold that position, get some deep breaths in. Nice deep breath in the nose. And as you breathe out and out, you should feel like your knees naturally fall a little bit further across your body. Switch over, right leg out, extend through the heel. Pull that right, uh, left leg through the right hand across. Deep breath in. From the nose. The mouth, you can actually relax into that feel, that stretch the outside of that left hip. One more deep breath in. And let's uh, okay, feet back to the middle. Left leg again, nice and flat again. You can take that right leg up. And then grab the time to fine. And you're trying to strain that leg out as much as you can. So it means that it's quite tough, and hands are going to be pretty tight. I'm trying to stretch out for the heel. You might put my toes down towards me. Try to keep the the floor as well. Don't lift your head. Try and keep it nice and low. Feel that stretch. Release down. Stand again on the left side. Take the position. Extend through that heel. Pull the toes down towards you. Keep the head down. Some of you guys can be quite an intense stretch. For some of you, you can probably think that's not stretch at all. But that's fine. Okay, right, right, back into stand uh, seat position. Soles of your feet together. Pull your heels in towards your hips. Nice and talking posture. James will pressure down the forearms to so stretch the inside. Our thighs into our abductor group. These muscles that go from groin, travel down inside of the leg, down towards our inside of the knee. Good. Some of you going to be easier than others. Good. And then we'll kick. Let's out, and then shake out. Okay, we've got quite a lot of shoulders today, so let's spin over into that new position. Hands out in front, 
Sit the hips back, really push the hands down, up through the palms into the floor. Feel that stretch through the shoulders into our kind of lat, sit down the side of our back. Then some deep breaths here, really feel that stretch there. Drag the hands down into the floor and then come forward. Hands where they are, four shoulders away from the ears. Feel that stretch through the abdominals. Deep breath in. One more time, all the way back. Feel that stretch through the shoulders again. Spend some time there. And you're ready. Come forward, last one. All the way down. Shoulders away. And back to the middle. Last little bit, let's come into the standing position. Grab something to hold if you need to. And it comes out. Old school quad stretch. So, you know, heel and just cause it to be bum. Make sure not to flex the position. Stand nice and tall, but hips can push forward. Keep that balance nice and tall for the posture. Feel my stretch to the front thigh. Oh, for a couple more seconds. Keep that out. Same again with the side, last one. Nice to go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a good break. Thanks for having me again and uh, enjoy some time, Jack. Take care. See you next week.